When we looked at electromagnets, we said that when an electromagnet is switched off, it loses its magnetism. And we said that this makes electromagnets really useful for picking up magnetic objects and dropping them somewhere else. In this video, we're going to look at some of the uses of electromagnets. Firstly, electromagnets are used in scrapyards to move metal objects made from iron and steel. So the scrapyard would use a really strong electromagnet that is attached to a crane and using this it can move heavy objects from one place to another. It would turn the electromagnet on to attract the objects that it wanted to lift and move them to somewhere else. To drop the objects again all you need to do is turn off the electromagnet then it loses its magnetism and the objects can be dropped where you want them to be. Electromagnets are used in the tracks of some high-speed trains. Electromagnets in the tracks repel magnets on the bottom of the train. This provides a frictionless surface so the train can travel extremely fast. Electromagnets are also used in relay circuits. A relay is a special type of switch that is controlled by an electromagnet. So in this image we have this electromagnet here with many coils of wire to make it very strong and this would be attached to one particular circuit. If we were to switch that electromagnet on it would generate a magnetic field. That would attract this arm here which would be made out of a magnetic material for example iron or steel. So you would see the arm move downwards as it's attracted to the electromagnet. As it does that, the end of the arm here will push these two contacts together and these two contacts are part of a second circuit. So this switch here, this relay switch, is powered by this electromagnet and when this is turned on it will then turn on circuit 2. As this switch will be, now be closed and the current will be able to flow through the circuit. So when the electromagnet is turned on it will look something like this with this arm now connected, the end of the arm pushing these contacts together, these contacts are touching therefore completing circuit 2 and that will be powering something within circuit 2 for example a motor or a lamp or whatever it is that you have connected to your circuit too. Finally, electromagnets are also useful in motors. If you put an electromagnet inside a permanent magnet, you can make a simple motor. So I've shown this just by one coil of wire going up, looping round and coming back and along. Inside a permanent magnet, so we've got north pole here and south pole here. I haven't shown the rest of the circuit that would be connected to a power supply. But when we turn this electromagnet on, it will of course generate a magnetic field. So then we have magnetic fields around the wire interacting with the magnetic field of the permanent magnet and that will cause this coil of wire to spin. And for this motor that I've set up, it will spin in a clockwise motion. So this arm will come up and that arm will go down. So this simple spinning motion is our simple motor and that can be connected to things to make them move and this is what makes motors really useful. Motors are really useful because they help things move. Hi guys if you enjoyed that last video then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gccrevisionmonkey.com. If you're a teacher check out the key stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com it contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.